Hi folks and welcome to a new eBay video. It's been a wee while since I've done one but I've been pretty busy, sorry, locating stock and doing a lot of painting as uh, as I said in the last the video that I did. I'm trying to gear towards more uh, creative stuff that I want to, to sell as on my site. I tried Etsy and it's still sort of it's, it's still in the sort of beginning stages of I've not got that many paintings up so far and it does take a bit of time you know it takes a, a, a day to actually to to do a painting you know and um so it's pretty time consuming but i've got a good schedule now that like say on a monday i'll go out looking for stock and stuff at the charity shop sometimes a wednesday sometimes a friday and then the days in between i've allocated for painting and the weekends as well so um i've been doing a lot of painting uh, so i'll show you a, a couple of things that they'll I've did acrylics, I showed you in the last one, but now I, uh, what I decided to do was to do them on like say, uh, on colour paper, no water, water colour paper and acrylic paper. So uh, these I'm hoping to sell, uh, these are actually up, one of these is up on Etsy and one of them is up on uh, eBay. Still waiting for my first sale of a uh, painting. Uh, and then I can officially call myself uh, an artist, I suppose. But like I say, I'm enjoying it just now. Doing loads of uh, different subjects and, and whatever. Uh, I started painting a couple of pandas. Uh, it's just like, say, whatever you see, you know, I think I, I must have seen a picture of uh, say, some pandas and that. So I decided to, that I would do them because they're pretty, they're pretty easy to paint. Uh, and... Hopefully though, I would get like you know, eight eight pound to ten pound for these. Eh? So I've got all these up. I've, I've put these up on eBay. I'm gonna uh, try and sell more on on eBay just now because Etsy said it just doesn't seem to be much selling. And a couple of people that I know that have got stuff on um, on Etsy, uh, they've never made any sales. It seems to be more of an American uh, site. Uh, but like I says, I'm enjoying my painting and stuff new. Another one I've did, uh, the minute, like I says, I'm trying to do other subjects as well. I want to do Star Wars because the font's coming out, so I, I, I think uh, Star Wars will be a good subject to do. Maybe Marvel Comics. And then uh, I started doing, I uh, was watching uh, one of the old Universal uh, monster movies, Frankenstein at the weekend, so I thought I would do the monster and uh, I've still be finished this but. If, I'll put that up and if there's a market for it, it means that I can do more more painting and stuff on these subjects, you know, because I love my movies and, and whatever. As for sales wise, like a lot of the guys, the UK resellers, they were sort of saying that their sales dropped in January. Uh, but I, I, mine's slightly increased, so I was quite happy with that. But February has been, uh, was a, a bit of a washout. Sorry, I've got a, a burner on here, and a, an incense burner. Uh, and... Yeah, February my sale was just sort of went. The first two weeks was great. You know, I was I was making uh, some good sales, and then the second two weeks they just totally dropped off, to the point where even like say, two weeks ago I only sold uh, a couple of things, and then last week, I never had any sales right up until Friday there, and then I got I got a sale on Friday, and then I got two sales, on the, the Saturday, and that sort of it put me back to what I was. For, it was okay for the week, eh, but I was well, well down on my February month's eh, net profit compared to January. And it's picked up slightly in March, you know. My, what I'm planning to do is put more and more stuff up. But I just didn't understand the reason why my sales dropped. You know, um, eBay sent me an email saying that I would, uh, would I like to have a trial eh, two months with a, with a shop, open up in a shop, and I was getting like the reduced rates for like putting stuff up and for no uh, they were going to take less of a cut when I get uh, when I got sales and stuff but um, for some reason I just never had any any buyers at all as soon as I done it I got a, I got awarded power seller as well a power seller so uh, that's all good but like I say it's, it was just it went to it went from having good sales to absolutely nothing like the past two weeks, and I had like one, a couple of sales, like I says. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's the uh, byway. And um, with the with the open up the shop for two months, I could put as many things up as I want, and I'm getting it free. So, 
uh, that's what that's what I'm planning to do the next two months. Only get as much stock up as I can. I've got I think I've, I've got about 170 items up just now, and uh, I'm expanding as well. I'm trying to get any books and stuff. Uh, no, no, I went in a shop last week, Ian, and they were giving you were getting four books for a pound. So I've got loads of Ian Rankin books. So I'm going to put them on as a bundle, and then today when I was up uh, allocating more stock, I, I was I said I'll keep an eye for Ian Rankin. I just picked him because I have heard his name and he's actually a Scottish crime writer. So I thought it'd be easy for me to to, to look for these sort of books, and I'll be them as a trial sort of thing. When in the Waterstones, so uh, for any of the UK resellers, look out for Waterstones for bargain, uh, for the bargain bins things. They're, they're selling a lot of stuff for a pound, and I got a lot of these wee uh, Asian badges and stuff that were uh, that were uh, discounted to a pound. They were usually about six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. So I've got all them up. Uh, today I got a book, deafness and hearing loss. I don't know if that will sell, but like I say. It's, it's for a pound and it says here it was it's eight ninety nine so it's a bit of a niche market uh, but you never know somebody might want it and then I came across a sort of graphic novel Stephen King The Dark Tower uh, full of Galid, Galid is that how you say it uh, but it looks pretty good I might have a read it at first um, but yeah got that for a pound so it says uh, they were selling it for fourteen ninety nine but I don't think I'll I think I'll put it on for nine ninety nine see if I get to see him. And then Nick, Nick Hills of course, uh, was selling loads of Lego and uh, it was something I never really thought of, you know, before I just, uh, I, I never had enough knowledge about it and stuff, but I thought, well, I may as well try and get some Lego stuff. So I came up with the Harry Potter Hogwarts Lego set. Uh, this was one pound fifty. so uh, I'll have a look at that and make sure it's all there. I've got loads of these as if as all the UK resellers have loads of these uh, seen it. I had to seen an 80s one before, um, but uh, this one was £2.50, so I thought I would give it a go. I've got loads in the back room there, still waiting to get sold. They say they have had a bit of a. Like there's no many people be, see me be buying it just now. And then I came across this, which is a radio controlled tarantula. And it says here, Rick and Bell, it's got £25 on the. On the, uh, on the box here and I got it for £3 and I was speaking to the lady behind the till and she said she was going to buy it <laughs> so I'll be a wee bit in investigation this but as soon as I've seen that I said I'm going to make money with this then I go Cluedo the Simpsons one it says this one is £3 so uh, I'll give that a go I don't know if uh, I've never sold a Cluedo one before. Um, I imagine that it would sell pretty well, you know. Some of the stuff you can that should be able to sell. And then I came across this, which is a, a 3D uh, Monopoly set. I've never actually seen this one either, so if anybody's actually seen this before, let me know, and let me know if it's a good seller there. I uh, got this for £3 as well, so like the games uh, where I go usually are usually like £2 deeper than that, they're usually £5, £4, £55, £5.50. So I went to another town and I've came across a good wee charity shop there, so I can get all these. Uh, they're they're uh, £1, pound one fifty cheaper and uh, they're in relatively good condition, so um, I'm quite happy with that. Another couple of things is. I sell wee bits of ornaments and stuff as well. I've sold a couple of owl ornaments and uh, it's wee things. If you look out for owls and uh, anything like that, ducks, anything unusual, or even wooden bowls or boxes or that, they see me sell as well. I uh, came across this, got it for a pound. It's a Christmas thing, so I don't know if I might just leave it for Christmas. Um, like I say, it's wee unusual things, you know. Uh, this was a pound. So um, there's always somebody wanting to buy this stuff, and then I've got a wee duck thing. I sold an owl that looked sort of similar to this, but it was wooden. So um, this was a this was a pound as well. So I'll probably get five ninety nine, six ninety nine for it. Nice wee sale. There's something different for games and stuff. So I thought we'd get a go. Um, like I say, so hopefully the 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 sales will pick up again. You know, February was a bit of a washout. 
um, went to an auction actually last last week with, with one of another seller guy, and it was interesting to see how an auction works. I've never actually been to one. Loads of stuff that I couldn't sell. Away. It was like it wasn't in my markets and stuff, but it was interesting to see for it was the coins went for unbelievable money. You no, know, it was like everything like was going for about forty fifty pound paints. Uh, electrical goods, hardware and stuff, but as soon as it came to the coins, the coins just went through the roof, you know, the the, the most expensive coins that I got bought was £1,300, and I was just like gobsmacked at the prices, but I'm the one again to that market, it's, it's a, like say films, board games and the painting, that's that's my market, so thanks for watching, um, and I'll let you know uh, in a week or two, maybe, well, probably be a month, uh, how I'm getting on, thanks for watching.